body bags were whole lies. Hello and welcome to Body Bags. My name is James and I'm your Tuesday night reviewer. Uh, as you can probably tell by my voice, I'm a little bit sick at the moment, so I have to apologise. But this is the second review of our theme week, which is remakes. So this is one that actually, it doesn't cause arguments, but there's many people that believe this to be a remake of the thing from another world from the 1950s. Uh, but it's definitely more of a much more close adaption to the 1930s novel by, oh, what's his name? Campbell, Campbell Jr. Um, who goes there. So, which is actually what The Thing from Another World is a remake of, but it's a lot more loose, whereas Carpenter's version is a lot closer. We have many of the character names. We have like a lot of things which are happening in the movie, which are very close to, to the novel. Uh, MacReady testing the blood with a hot wire for, for as, a, as an example. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it, although yeah, this is remakes week. Um, yeah, I would definitely put this in the camp of being a reimagining of the novel, which is a lot more closer adaption than to what the 50s, the thing from another world is. And also the 2011 thing, uh, I mean, that, that's probably more straightforward. Some uh, some people might see it as like a, a, a remake, but I think that's clearly a, um, it clearly has remake links kind of a feeling of remake because of how similar it is but I think it's just a uh, a prequel to the uh, Carpenter's 1982 obviously with how the movie ends and then how 82 starts it's you can see how they're tying it up there so yeah although this is as I mentioned this is the theme week of uh, remakes I would put this one as just a reimagining of the novel, the 1930s novel. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we, we all know how good this movie is. We have some just stunning special effects and just the, just the, the not only the group of characters, but the, the, the kind of the casting that they got for these, for these guys. Um, yeah, like Kurt Russell, Wilfred Bramley. It's just, it's just a beautifully balanced movie. You have like some real, really good characters. I mean, there's only so much time you can kind of give in backstory for these people. But I don't know, maybe it's because we've seen this film so many times and we all know how amazing it is that you feel you know the characters more than maybe you do. We only get to know a small bit about them. But Carpenter is able to expand on that just through the raw emotion of these characters and how they how they kind of deal in the face like of adversities, like how they deal with stuff. It's like that's way more telling about who a person is rather than what their backstory is necessarily of how they grew up. What, who their family is, what their career aspirations were. It's like, how do you deal with this situation? And as we, we see with all the different characters, it's wonderfully, wonderfully put together. And it has so many iconic scenes, so many iconic deaths. Um, I mean, I, I don't think I really need to go too heavy into this. Um, I am going to actually keep this quite short because... My, my throat is really hurting quite a lot now but um i imagine almost everyone especially anyone that's into the realm of horror movies as your main staple uh you have seen this movie and if you haven't i think you really 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 do need to check this out um it's kind of quite hard to to find a copy but I would also highly recommend tracking down a copy of Who Goes There. 
it's actually been it was expanded out a few years back now maybe maybe a decade back or so maybe even longer now maybe 20 years or so back uh, that there was more found to the story but so they're expanding it and it's like the frozen world frozen planet or, or something like that it was called but i need to kind of track that down and give give that one a read and of course you can go to the um uh the the first kind of adaption the thing from another world which is definitely uh it definitely takes elements from the movie but it, it's quite different in, in its outlay but this this is the one like uh, Carpenter's eighty two. This is the one that really really sets up to to follow in the, in the footsteps of, of the great novel, which really came to acclaim during the during the seventies. And it's kind of amazing to think that how that story is written that it's written it towards the end of the nineteen thirties. It's it's quite remarkable. It's, it really is. It's such a such a fantastic book with some real depth of of things which weren't kind of written about it quite in that way obviously like when the film was made he, he was kind of incredible for its time when this movie came out at the start of the 80s and you think that novel was done like 50 years earlier it's it's just it's just crazy it's just insane but I, like i do recommend if you can track it down like please give it a read um it's highly recommended uh, I'm going to have to cut this short now, guys. I, I do apologise, but I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll hopefully catch you next week with a normal voice. Thank you. Good night.